and welcome to Transformers Versus. Today is the battle of Hasbro's Combiner Wars Drag Strip versus Fan Project's Take on Drag Strip. Hasbro's Combiner's Wars Drag Strip is a loving homage to G1 Drag Strip. Unfortunately, it is not a six wheel monstrosity of the future, but your regular sort of Formula One racing car. Mainly yellow with these nice maroon accents and painted rims. Painted rims, that's what we like. This is just a beautiful looking car. You can kind of see what's going to happen on the underside, but it's the underside of a car, who cares? Uh, storage for his weapons, you've got an extra port on this, and it kind of looks like an engine block. Not too bad. The sword is sort of the issue where you can just, that's where I usually put it, just sticking out of the back. So you can reverse into someone, I suppose. Or you can kind of have it on the side. We're like driving past, just mm, slash. Or pointing forward and shooting off in an odd direction. I just suppose stick it out that way and just. Mm. If you had two, that'd work a bit better, but just one. A little bit awkward. But at least there is somewhere for them to go. Vehicle mode rolls nice. Vehicle mode rolls nicely, and that's pretty much everything it can do. Fans Project's take on drag strip is this modern, beautiful, sleek looking pod Formula One racer. These love these panels covering up the front wheels, just looks so cool. Nice see through canopy, painted rims, textured tyres. Uh, again, not much going on the underside, but actually it's fairly well hidden. You can sort of see the legs, but most of it is just a mess of parts, so you can't really tell it's a robot. But yeah, this is a beautiful, modern... This is a beautiful, modern update to the drag strip character. Weapon storage is very simple. It is these tiny two blocks there. So there is absolutely no... There is absolutely nothing spoiling this really pretty sculpt. But it does probably leave us with an issue that we'll get to later. And he rolls really nicely. And now it is time for size comparison. Dra Hasbro's drag strip is a deluxe size. Fans project is some sort of weird... Is somewhere between a scout and a deluxe. A very odd size. As you can see, the Formula One stretches out, even though all of this just becomes backpack. So, the main robot body, there's the same amount here. Let's bring out another Deluxe in Transformers Age of Extinction Bumblebee. You can see Drag Strip is a long Deluxe. It's sort of quite a hollow, because that's just how a Formula One car is. But... That's how they size up. You can see, like, there's all this gap here. Here's just a bigger vehicle. Let's go with Scout Class Drag Strip from the Dark of the Moon Human Alliance figures. So, this guy came with a Human Alliance guy, and he is a huge <laughs> Scout figure, really. He's pretty much the same length as Drag Strip. This is like literally hollow all the way through here though, because his body just stretches out, but yeah, that's an impressive deluxe. I didn't even realize that until I was doing these comparisons. But this is our old school Drag Strip. And yeah, this scout figure just is so much longer. But again, this just like turns into arms. So the main bulk of the figure is sort of similar. And we have another Scout Formula One looking car. Um, yeah, this is sort of more Scout size to Scout size. See, the Deluxe is just so much longer. 
But I actually really love this finger. I can't figure. I can't remember what it's called for the life of me, but that's a really like badass Formula One future car looking mode. And our final Formula One looking car thing is just this monstrosity. Uh, <laughs> Energon. Bam. Cliff Jumper. He is just this huge monster. He was actually like a mega class, which is a step above a Voyager. And look, these, these guys together barely like make the length of him. So yeah, there's some size comparisons. Drag strip is a joy to transform. It is completely intuitive. There is nothing you're really going to miss by not looking at the instructions. The backpack folds up nicely and locks into place. Everything is intuitive and easy and it makes an effective transformation. They managed to make a very compact car fold out into a nice looking warrior. Unfortunately, the way of getting there is a very finicky transformation. It is very rarely that I have transformed this and not popped off, especially the shoulder panels from the ball joints. And I've quite often transformed him and forgotten to slide down the rear wheels, even turning around the transparent canopy. If you turn it the wrong way, it can crack, and I actually had to glue this back together. After that effort, you get a sleek looking robot. And after that, we get a nice deluxe size robot. See a bit more maroon coming through on the legs. And the car parts just work so well in his design into robot mode. The chest is a little bit lackluster, literally just being a complete combiner port. But it actually does break up the color scheme, so it actually looks quite nice. Shoulder pads, nice and angled. And he's got these massive, like, cuff sort of massive cuffs. I just love this angled look. Poseability is everything you really need. Nice high shoulders on an extra swivel joint. A little bit of wrist, not exactly rotation. Ball joints. Swivel joints. Knees. It's got a nice, solid base to stand upon. His feet are big and support the figure well. The backpack locks in on the back and just... <laughs> and they managed to make the backpack lock into place. And it just looks really nice as a backpack. I'm glad they rotated this round rather than just have it flip over so the underside's exposed. This really does close off the back of the figure nicely. And let's look at... That psychotic face. I adore <laughs> this face sculpt. It's like crying blood. Visor look is just completely mental and I love it. For weapons, he has this, which is the hand foot thing. Which is meant to be some sort of electrical cannon. Yeah, with a bit of imagination you can see that. I really wish all of these had a port here. No, I don't. I really wish all of these had a post here. So you could po put them on that way around. Because you have to turn it around there. And then like the knuckles are exposed and so is this underside. If you could just have it the other way around, it would just look a that little bit nicer. And it looks fine, it's kind of a shoulder shield and you can zap people. His other weapon is this nice looking sword gun. I think it makes a much better sword than it does gun. Particularly because of how his wrists have this really nice cuff. You can't hold it that well. And it's sort of kind of angled down. No idea why. But as a sword, it is lovely. It is a short scimitar for slashing and stabbing. And here we have Fan's Project Take on Drag Strip. Here's just a nice yellow warrior. Got all this panelling, all this sort of detail on his chest. 
His shoulders are quite busy. And none of it locks together, which makes it a bit unwieldy. But I wish if this could clip in, that would be a really nice shoulder. But this bit, just if they could figure out something else to do with it, I think that would look much nicer than having this sitting up here. And this just pops off so often. But again, movement is everything you want from this kind of figure. And they think of good, like for the feet, the wheels fold inside. So the <coughs> the wheels fold inside. They don't exactly bother me on Hasbro's drag strip, but it's just something a little bit different. And the wheels kind of just hang out on the bottom of his arms. But again, it's nothing that really gets in the way or hinders the figure. And let's look at that head sculpt. Here's just a very nice standard figure, blue face, purple helmet, red eyes. Not quite as characterful and psychotic as Hasbro's attempt, but he just such a nice folly. A nice solid head sculpt. A really solid looking nose. I know, until I sort of put it in this angle, I didn't realise how much I actually like the shape of that nose. And his weapon is this absolutely tiny handgun. If this guy was in a fight with Hasbro's drag strip, I, I would not like the chances of this tiny gun versus this size of sword. It's not the most impressive weapon. Let us do some size comparisons. Here is Scout Class drag strip. And literally same height as Fans Project's version. And yep, only comes up to the shoulders of the Hasbro's newer drag strip. Then the core combiner guy. Again, actually just a tad shorter. And yeah, much shorter. He's got massive hands though. Deluxe class Bumblebee. Yep, basically same height as drag strip. Because he's a movie figure, he's actually a little bit slender and like smaller head. He's not as blocky as drag strip is. There you go. And this just massive brick of a thing. <laughs> okay, let's uh, pop that up. Yep. <laughs> he is just this massive block of a figure. Yeah, he just towers over them. And look at this thing, just like side view as well. There's just so much mass here. I have to give it to Hasbro's drag strip. Just the price difference alone is enough for him to win. You've got a £15 figure versus one that costs £50. And it's a scale that just works with so many more figures. The sort of odd scout size for the Fans Project one just means they just don't fit in with anyone really. Not to mention his tiny little gun is pathetic. I know drag, Hasbro's drag strip has the weird electric cannon, but at least it's something meaty. And he has a sword as well, compared to just a tiny handgun that splits in half. And there it is. This one's winner, Hasbro's Drag... Hasbro's Combiner Wars Drag Strip. Let me know who you think is the better figure in the comments section below, or on my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Also, if you have an idea for another Versus, please let me know and I will do them. And until next time, like, subscribe, share, and TTFN.